All right, so I'm having the world's worst allergy attack, and I wanted to say I've been cleaning my basement, and there's so much dust down there from years of not being used because it was basically just a storage room. Because when my dad was dying, like when we were taking care of him um, for like literally two years, the area just got turned into a storage area. Mm -hmm. Basically, all kinds of stuff was moved there because my dad's room was moved upstairs and mine was switched and, you know, just stuff like that, basically. Um, so there's been so much dust down there that I've been having an allergy attack for like, I don't know, 12 hours off and on. So I'm gonna do my best with uh, how I sound. I can't really help it though, is basically what I'm saying. I think it's really cool. I like the mask he has on. I do too, but Jill's got Antifa Robin going, so we're gonna go. Stop being mean to me. Check that out in a few minutes. But He's not Antifa. First, I'm gonna play as uh, Big Butt Barb. Big Butt Barb. Yeah. Bouncing Barb. Bouncing Barb is the best. A lot of people really liked that. I liked that. It made me laugh. It was funny. Um. Oh, so I can craft this new, new melee weapon. I love bouncing Barb's boobies. Me too. Adore it. Or adore I, her. I wanted to mention, because last night um, we were talking about this, I wanted to say, you know, I think they kind of missed an opportunity to be able to make a playable character be Harley Quinn and have her be a Gotham Knight instead of having her do whatever the heck she's doing with the Dr. Q crap in this game. Uh-huh. Because a lot of times Harley Quinn does join Batman in certain continuities, and I think it would have been really interesting to have one more girl character who is not exactly just the normal main characters we always see, you know, like the very basic layout. No, I do too. So I think that would have been awesome. Uh, and I think it's kind of a shame because I think everybody would have loved to be able to play as Harley as a Gotham Knight. I would have liked to have seen it. Ass is showing your softer side. Yeah, my guts, brains. Ladder them all over Gotham. Jason, I don't think she meant it so literally. This is the Enema Shop. Wait, wait, it says Anem. This is Enema Shop. It's buy one, get one free, and Tim Drake's gonna go in here so he can buy a little something, something for Bernard later. Well, Barbara's just disappointed because she used. This place has bad memories for her. Oh, really? Did she used to get Enemas here? Yeah, for Bruce. <laughs> and Dick. Oh! And Jason. Oh, when she was dating them all at the same time? Just not Tim. No. Dating's a strong word. Dating's a strong word. Okay, so do that you... That implies commitment. Let's go to... Do you want to go to this cash first that I marked? Yeah, let's hit that Johnny Cash. Okay. And then we'll go to Detective Montoya. So, I got a call from Lucius Fox, which was completely unimportant. I didn't record it, though, but basically he just said, Hey... Sorry I couldn't make it to the funeral. By the way, uh... Oh, I was going the wrong way. He wants to give us flowers, but Alfred thinks he's going to give us something other than flowers, and I'm hoping it's a schlong. That's not what it'll be. Oh. I hope. I'm hoping it is. I'm just glad we're not playing Hogwarts Legacy right now, because I don't want to be harassed by all of the accepting people. Accepting people! Did you know that there's a transgender character in that game now, and... Uh, actually not supporting that game makes you a transphobe. Well, I guess I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. <laughs> I'll take 12 copies, but I'll say my Hail uh, Marys while I do it, so that I don't support JK. What if JK Rowling comes out and says, actually, you know how my initials are JK? What if she I changes was just kidding. them to KK? No, I was just kidding the whole time. Oh. That's what she says. That makes sense. What, it was yours a KK slider joke? No, mine was going to be a KKK joke. But it wouldn't make sense because her last name is still R. Yeah, she changes that too. Okay. She'd be uh, KK Cowlin. Fair enough. Get it? Because she's a cow? No, I don't. What? Get it? Do you like her or no? No, I think she's a Robin really identified. big idiot. Robin identify. Oh. Oops, I accidentally, like, I was trying to go over there to where he said, and he, like, used the grapple, like, in a random place. <laughs> okay. That's fine. You can kind of aim it, but it's not easy. Oh, it's not. I think I'm just gonna get it. Yeah, could you? Identity verified. Yeah, so now you can come get it, too. To device. Okay, so they told us where that is. Yay! See, where the is main... The location? You know what's interesting about her? The reason I don't like her 
is not because oh, of specific stuff she says. It's just because, like, I feel like she purposely pisses people off, and I find that obnoxious. Jaycock? Yeah. Yeah. But, oh, it says, look, it says I'm Robin when I got that. Well, that's because I activated it. It showed up as a big R. That's really funny. I think it's because it expected me to go to it. All right, so we're almost at Montoya. You want to stop this crime on the way? Yeah, you want to do the kidnapping in progress? Yeah, and then we'll hit Montoya, literally. (laughs) Oh. Punch her. Oh, I thought we were going to hit her from the back. I'm fine with it. Barbara's into everything. You know. My version of Barbara's into everything. You wanna come over here? Yes, sorry, I was dying from allergies. Again. All right. All I had to do was walk. No, I didn't. You're going far away from it. I had to glide, Jill. It's part of being a vigilante. Okay. You coming? Just because you don't appreciate what's going on in the story doesn't mean I don't. Okay. Come right. on. Where is she? She's right over here. Come on. Where? Right here. Where? Right here. Don't see her. Oh, Are you nice. stupid? Wait, wait, wait. Can we take pictures with her? Oh, shit. Where did you try. come from? Wait, stop moving. Well, I'm trying to get her to... Just, like... Yeah. She keeps trying to face us. Well, if you leave, I can get a selfie with her. Okay. That girl. Not the bad I was expecting to see, but if he trusts you, so will I. Likewise. I assume you've got something in mind. Fill me in. Well, since we lost Gordon, some cops are back to playing dirty again. Kane doesn't like it, but she's not doing much to stop it either. So I've heard. She's not half the commissioner he was. I know Batman was helping Gordon clean up the force. But now any cops who used to be on Gordon's team are getting their asses handed to them. The gangs are ambushing them because they won't take bribes, and dispatchers are giving them the worst assignments because they make trouble for everyone else. Hoping the gangs will do their dirty work for them, that's... horrible. Look, I hate to ask, but can you keep an eye on cops when they're facing off against the gangs? I know a lot of my fellow officers have issues with vigilantes, but they need the help. Helping is what I do. And those who actually care about Gotham will hopefully see that we're on the same side. Thanks. I'll try to get you some resources to help you protect everyone in Gotham, not just us. Sounds good to me. Nice. Well, I don't know why that was worth a bunch of XP. If only Montoya knew who she was talking to. It's Gordon's heir. Wait, I can't I can't press punch around her. How are you Gordon's heir? You know, like heir to the throne. How are you that? No, hey. you. Oh. Because you were talking to her. Are you stupid today? Well, like, I didn't understand. Like, you were the one, like, standing there talking. No, I, you were the one standing there talking. I was just standing there with you. Well, you kept talking to me. So I thought you were talking about yourself. No. Okay, I did not try and click that. Apparently, like, my allergies are affecting my brain. <laughs> Apparently. So what do you think of Montoya? didn't exactly get along when I was on the streets. She was a rookie when my dad was on the force, but he took a shine to her. I think we should at least give her a chance. Fair enough. But I'm still on the fence. I don't like Gotham cops. Jason, you don't like anybody. That's not true. I like that you get that. I like Jason. You don't like anybody. I know. One thing I don't like is that they play the audio when you go in the back computer. I know. It's a little annoying. I couldn't really hear it, but basically she she was saying that we should give Renee Montoya a chance, and, and Jason was like, I don't like Gotham cops. And that's when she said, you don't like anybody. Yeah, that's pretty funny. And did you hear what he said? Uh, after that? No. What he said, say? I like that you get that. <laughs> He likes Jeez, her. That was loud, Jill. <laughs> but he likes her. Alright. Doesn't I'm, he? I'm gonna switch to Wait, I can play as Robin too? That's so weird. Yeah, it is a little weird. I think it's funny though that we could both be Robin if we wanted to. It's a little odd. I'm switching to Nightwing and I have to see what I can do with like my leveling up and stuff, because I haven't played as him in a while. So we never read this on the Let's Play, um, but I got an email from Renee before we were supposed to go talk to her, and it says, Batman, it's Montoya. 
I know Commissioner Kane doesn't want us to talk, but this is urgent. The gangs have been getting restless, and the few good officers we have left are being put in the line of fire needlessly. Your people have really stepped up, but without you out there, the gangs think they're invincible. You need to do something. Come see me at these map coordinates so we can talk. I didn't want to interrupt you, but we did read that. I don't remember. We did read that, though. Did we read that last time? We read it on the Let's Play. Like last time we played? Uh, yes. Okay, because I didn't remember because it's been a while since we played. I know, I've been trying to get you to play. Okay, but well. you're busy all the time. Well, I thought it was a good refresher to Somebody's read. Somebody's always busy. I thought it was a good refresher to read it again. And I think it's kind of weird that when we talked to her, she didn't mention really anything much about Batman. She was just kind of like, we need your help, Barbara. Well, she did. She said... You're not the bat I expected to see, but if Batman trusts you, fair enough. I guess that's true, but that was, like, very small. Like, you'd think she would have been like, so how come Batman couldn't meet me himself? Like, where is he? I haven't seen him in a while. Like, what's going on? Where is he? Well, don't you think she'd be asking some questions? I think that they would, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just stupid. I don't no, know. you're not stupid. That's fair. Uh, I guess I just didn't think about it too much, but I think you're right. Also, am I able to get... I might be able to get... I do believe we have a guest. Is that... a cat? How did a cat get past our security protocols? It wouldn't be the first cat to find its way past the bat's walls. Have you actually seen it? Not yet, but I suspect if we start leaving food out for him, we may find ourselves with a new addition to the bat family. I wonder what cats like to eat. Maybe one of the others can pick up some food on patrol. A cat in the belfry. Huh. I'm going to read everything I can so it doesn't scratch me. So do you remember one of those other parts ago when like Nightwing was like, can we have a cat in the belfry? And everybody was like, no. Yeah. But now we have a cat in the belfry. Where is he? I want to find him. I want to get him food. They just say he's not out here yet. Also, how come Tim Drake doesn't know what cats eat? Is Tim stupid? Master Tim really looks up to you. Nah. He just likes it when I let him work on my pistols. You should give yourself more credit. You've shown him and everyone else here what it means to be strong. To accept help. To conquer your fears and turn them into something good is inspiring. You make it sound simple. But sometimes it's hard as hell. Nothing worthwhile is ever easy. All right. Yeah, the the cat's not here yet, but I would like to watch this. I have a cutscene here, but it needs you, too, for some reason. Oh, weird. I don't know why. I think, oh, yeah, this is the knighthood thing, I think, Yay! for my fast travel. What do you think about this outfit? I like it. It's cool. Look like Power Ranger. I do look like a Power Ranger. That makes me look a little stupid, actually. Really? I thought it was fun. Well, now that you said I look like a Power Ranger, I think I look dumb. I'm sorry. Bike is an awesome concept, but guess what? It's way too slow. The bike should be twice as fast as this. You're telling me this is as fast as they can get to crimes? This guy driving like 30 miles per hour on the bridge. It, it is really slow. It took a while to pass him. I'm only going, like, what, 40? It is really slow. It's really stupid how slow it is. It, even, even it if should it does, be, like, need for speed levels of fast. You know why it's not? I just drove by people and the game borderline crashed. That makes sense. So they made it slower on purpose because the game couldn't run right at first anyway. I bet it used to be faster. Yeah, but the game still couldn't run right. Oh, man. this. Oh, jeez. Whoa. What? I was playing a PowerPoint presentation from 2004 for a second. Oh, no. And I would know. I had PowerPoint 2004 for, like, 10 years. My game froze. Oh, look. Oh, my look. gosh. Did you see that? Yeah, that's awful. Whoa. That was really bad. The game has gotten worse since the last update. You think so? Yeah, look. Look. It's That's unplayable. It, it straight up crashed. 
It shut down. Gotham Knights just crashed. Nice. Right now, on recording. Yeah. The whole thing froze and it crashed. Why don't you just talk to Lucius in yours and I'll talk to him in mine. Okay. And then I'll invite you again, okay? Okay. Because you're going to get cut anyway. Or, like, kicked, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is dumb. It should just revert to your server immediately. I agree. (sighs) It sent me back to the Belfry. Oh, my. Well, you should go talk to him anyway because it might make you do that on your own. Okay, I want to be back real little if I talk to him then. Okay. I'm just going to be a dick. Dickus, McDickus. Do you think anyone ever calls him Big Dick Grayson? I hope so. Big Dick Grayson! We've been playing uh, WWE 2K14, which you said you wanted to let's play some parts of that to show off our characters, didn't you? Yeah, it's really funny. Just for fun. Yeah, I think it's funny. So far, we have made Black Adam, the Dwayne Johnson one, the real one. Yes, yes. And we have made, uh, who else? Oh, we made, like, the... We made Batman. Yeah, we made the baddest little bitch of all time, who I really like. So do they call him Luke, or do they call him Loosh? Uh, I don't know. I thought they just called him Lucius. Uh, then who's Luke Fox? His son. Oh. I think. If I remember oh, okay. right. So he named his son, like, pretty much after himself? Yeah, why? Well, I just was wondering. Do you think that's stupid? No, but sometimes when people do that, it's because they have narcissism problems. Other times it's because it's actually, like, a cool family name. And I don't think Lucius Fox is a narcissist, but... Um, not to, like, call out names, but my middle name is because of one of my parents being a narcissist. You think so? Yes. That's a shame. 100% yes. That's a shame. Call it Lucius Fox for that. (laughs) Do you think Lucius Fox is racist? No, why? Well, I don't know. Why would he be racist? I I just wanted to know your thoughts. It would only be racist if, like... Never what? Mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. No, please give us a racism example. <laughs> no, no, no. Never mind. I don't want it. Why would that be racist? It'd be more racist if we tied him up and beat him. What? 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 What building were you on? I told you it's a short low one right there. No, no, no. This one? Right down there. Oh, here it is. See it? Yeah. Okay. Honestly, the traversal in this game pisses me off. It pisses me off, too. Like, I want to like it, but, like, it's making also, me look angry. at the JPEG of the mountains. What in the world? All right, I think I found Lucius, so I'm going to talk to him. That's going to be a cut scene. So, uh, where is he? Am I stupid? Yes. Where is this man? Uh, I think he is up a little more. Oh. Why is he just hanging out on rooftops? Creepy. Enjoying the view, Lucius? <laughs> you trying to give me another heart attack? Batman taught you everything, huh? Batman was always big on keeping a step ahead of everyone. Don't know how he kept up with Gotham, though. I always feel five steps behind this city. You're getting there. The bat doesn't fall far from the Belfry. From what I've seen, anyway. Thanks, I guess. Don't thank me yet. Mentor and I always knew that something like this could happen. When I left Wayne Tech, we kept some research going. There are a lot of eyes on you now, but no one's looking at Fox Tecca. As long as I get a breath between the guilds, you'll still have everything you need to carry on Batman's legacy. Speaking of which, you gonna introduce me? It's Luke's design. A custom bird to help you get around a little quicker. Hefty enough to support exactly one hero. Our own personal rideshare. 
This is great, Lucius. Now you can thank me. Thanks. That's cool. So we got like a mini bat plane? Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? Like a really tiny one. Mm-hmm. 